There are good leaders who actively guide and bad leaders who actively misguide. What kind of leaders do we have? And so I speak on leadership, the problem of Nigeria. Indeed, leadership is the problem of Nigeria. Leadership is everything. And the type of people voted into office makes the difference. If there's one lesson that we have learned from what has happened in US in the last four years, it is that the wrong person or set of people in leadership position can destroy what was painstakingly built over hundreds of years. America that was once looked upon as the model of democracy is now the country where citizens brace themselves for possible electoral violence. Wow. Shops and offices are being boarded up to safeguard them from violence that might be unleashed. Talks of ballot counting being stopped and the election not being accepted and also of going to Supreme Court to contest results are the kind of things we have come to expect in this part of the world, but definitely not in a country like the United States of America. That was until United States of America decided to vote the type of people we vote into office. The kind of people that will not think twice about destroying everything in their bid to perpetrate themselves in office. The kind of people that will explore every bit of the society and find all the weak links and use it for their personal benefit, even at the detriment of their nation. The kind of people that will sow seed of discord and whip up sentiments and cause the division and mayhem. The kind of people who are only focused on the next election and never on the next generation. The kind of people who with words and actions will promote violence directly and subtly. The kind of people no country that wants to ever be great put near any leadership position. Sadly in Nigeria, these are the people we have put in leadership position again and again. We seem to tacitly agree that good people should not be in politics. We shame them and make fun of the good people when they go into politics. We mock them and take delight in telling them that election is not by grammar. We are disdainful of the good people who go into politics. We laugh at their efforts to use their hard-earned money to run campaign. We refuse to donate to their campaign effort and mock their effort why, why comparing them with those who looted our commonwealth and used the loot to buy foods? We seem to have an expectation that one has to be corrupt, lack competence, have no shame, possess neither character nor integrity to be in politics. And yet we wonder year in, year out, why things aren't working in Nigeria. It is because we put the worst amongst us in leadership position. And according to Plato, that is what you get when good people refuse to take part in politics. In the words of Dr. Obies de Quesili, to fix Nigeria, we must fix politics. We must get the right people into office. We must have an electorate that is empowered, and we must have regulators that are truly independent. We must be deliberate in getting the right set of people into office. We can no longer afford to allow anyone coming with looted funds and buy their way into office. We must put our money where our votes are by contributing to the good people that run for office. We must also volunteer our time and efforts during election to campaign for the good people that run for office. And most importantly, we must hold them accountable when they get into office. Thank you. Yes. Um... That was, um, for me, a, a very powerful punch. Um, it paints the problem of um, um, lack of leadership. And, and so, like I said earlier, and that's why when you know, a nation is bereft of leadership, you know, they chase shadows. And that's why, uh, rather than the government looking inwards, um, they begin to look for who to blame. Uh, and I like the, the last part, that we must put our money where our mouths our vote are. You know, because it is not enough for us to sit down in the studio or in our beer parlors and complain about lack of leadership. And then, the day you now decide to throw your hat in the ring, the same people who are complaining will tell you you won't win. 
that you don't have because the, they're a good person yeah because you don't have according to them you don't have the structure. political structure <laughs> they for, but they forget that they are your structure yes. and so if only they can come together and join you and then they'll become structures so i think that's a new message and then i also quickly like the part the part of the regulator because if you do not have a good regulator because that is the way house for clearing leadership. Mm -hmm. If the, that regulator is compromised, no matter how much you know effort you put in place, they will always you know block you and scheme, scheme you out. We should not also forget that, um, like John Maxwell said, everything rises and falls on leadership. Really, that is the the, the, the starting point. Uh, our leaders have failed to realize or understand the priority in the order of things. Uh, there was a protest not too long ago. It is because of bad leadership. It's because of uh, police brutality and all that. Now, instead of the government to focus on the problems submitted by the protesters to them, the government is now witch-hunting the citizens who went out to protest, who went out to protest it, in it, line it, with it, the constitution of the Federal Republic of Nigeria. The protest they admitted was peaceful. Was peaceful. <laughs> so, why, why, so, so why seize the passport of these <laughs> persons? And why go ahead to freeze, uh, their, to freeze their, their various bank account? And, and these and are people who are complaining. Yes, yeah, so I mean, government, this government should understand that there's what they call systems and methods, and there's a priority, and the government should do what it needs to do to make sure that this society is one that is livable. I, I, um, I ask myself if um, Oye, Owolewa, and Agbaje. Um, these two people won the election in the United States yesterday. Yes. Um, if they were in Nigeria, would they want to contest in the first instance? If they contest, uh, would they have emerged through the party processes? Nah, not possible. I doubt. Uh, Ole Wao, PhD pharmacy, the other guy, masters in, in law from Harvard. You know, and this is how we get the best of our own people not to show interest in politics because the environment is horrible. Polluted. It, it, it's polluted. And it all goes back to the same word, leadership. So we need to be able to fix the system such that the right people will emerge. How do leaders emerge in Nigeria? It's, it's, it's something that requires more attention. That's, that's the reality. So for we can me, get our best men <clears throat> for the job. For me, it's we, the general perception we have of the present leadership in Nigeria that when you're law-abiding, just as you have said in your, in your advocacy and, and Aisha too, is that when you're law-abiding, then you're stupid. Yeah. You know, because they expect you to not be law-abiding. Mm -hmm. Because if you're a Boko Haram uh, 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 someone, mm -hmm. <laughs> for want of what to call them, <laughs> or you are a you are you can a get bandit, sent to London. you get amnesty, you yes. get yeah. money, you they travel will negotiate with you. But you are a, you're a, you're a sane educated and oyewolewa sort of person yes. and then you say please they're killing us policemen are killing us there's police brutality please and then you carry your nigeria flag and you're singing the national anthem you're saying please come fix this for us then you are the target of of shooting <laughs> you, you know why that is because the what sort of country what sort of leadership is that like i said in my advocacy frosters and government are in partnership. So once they're in partnership, mm -hmm. the rest of you that are good are the enemies. And then the social yeah. media that gives you, gives voice to the voiceless, you also want to clamp down on that. Yeah. And then when traditional media cover these things, then you find them again. Hey. That's because government is insecure. Are they, we they in a democracy really? Are we together? in a democracy? <laughs> or when? No, we are in so them military. all crazy. Well, well uh, another thing also, sadly, uh, is the fact that uh, uh, 1999, when, when we came back to uh, democracy, uh, this uninterrupted democracy that we've had, a lot, a lot of people didn't believe that there was going to be a uh, change in power, that the military True. really were going to go away. And unfortunately, uh, we really had a lot of you know people who shouldn't have been in leadership position being the ones to take uh, the, uh, the reign of, of the country. And after staying there for four years, uh, it, it became very hard for them to be toppled. So it's, it's been systemic, it's systemic now and systematic, and the way they want it is to ensure that it's the same kind of crop of people that keep coming into power so that they will be able to safeguard their interests. And I think 
One right. of the things that we all as Nigerians should take uh, on is the fact that every one of us has to be a politician. You are either on the demand, demand side or the supply side. It doesn't matter, but we need to play a part. You don't have to run for office. But if you know the people, good people who are running for office, we need to do everything to ensure that they get there. And most important is not to get there and look the other way and start praying to God for them to be good. No, we will hold them accountable. And no, most importantly, they're getting there. They will know that we are the ones uh, who put them there. And of course, they will, they will have to do what, what, what we want. Otherwise, we also use the Constitution. Either recall them or get them impeached or not vote for them mm -hmm. again. We need to take part in politics. We yes, cannot no longer continue. Because it is, it is from politics you get the leaders who will be there. <laughs> <laughs> well, what I'm taking away from Aisha's words is that we all must become politicians. I'm up next after the break.